about that, let's bring in Russia expert Galia Ackerman. Galia, what do you think about these claims from the opposition that Navalny was indeed poisoned? Could that really be the case? Uh, yes, it is quite possible. You know, he was already poisoned some time ago, maybe a year ago. And also, uh, there were several other poisonings, uh, quite famous uh, in the West, like uh, the uh, ex uh, FSB um, member Litvinen, who in, Lon uh, in London, or uh, uh, Skripal. But also, you know, the journalist, Russian journalist, uh, Anna Politkovska, quite famous in the West, before she was shot uh, in 2006, uh, two years uh, uh, before, she was also poisoned. And uh, it was very similar to, this, to what happening to Navalny. Uh, she was going somewhere. Uh, and she, she, she took the plane. She was served tea to a conscience. Uh, and uh, she uh, she was hospitalized uh, in quite a critical condition. So I firmly believe it is a poisoning. Uh, so the next question, of course, is, is where is this poisoning, if it is indeed the case, coming from? Who did it? The, the Kremlin has wished Navalny a, quote, speedy recovery. What might it be thinking, really? Uh, we don't know. Of course, uh, the Kremlin uh, uh, wishes... Uh, uh, Navalny in quick recovery and says uh, that if Navalny needs uh, to be uh, uh, treated abroad uh, with his medical condition, uh, they will consider this option. Uh, but at the same time, can we trust uh, really Kremlin? I, uh, I doubt. Uh, so so uh, uh, the uh, authorities say that it was a provocation from God knows uh, what uh, what opposition in order to accuse Kremlin. But that also we had so many times when somebody is shot like Nemtsov uh, in 2015, like Politkovsky in 2006, like poisoning of Skripal in Great Britain and so on. Each time, each time authorities say that there were unknown uh, pr provocators who wish to create problems for Kremlin. It, it, it is not plausible. Galia, thank you for taking the time to speak to us, a Russia expert, Galia Ackerman.